Welcome to another insightful and educative show that talks about everything architecture. I be you know that Tukwache, an architectural designer based here in West Africa, Ghana. Today's segment, we will be highlighting on the key professionals and the stakeholders that you would need to know before you hit the ground to officially commence or start construction. Before we continue, I'd for hit that like button and also subscribe so that this information will not only educate you but also reach out to people who need it. So after you're done purchasing your land and your documents are ready and you officially want to start something on ground, you want to start off with the foundation. The number one ideal thing to do is to contact the design team. Now, what is a design team? A design team, they are the ones that will design your house in simple layman's term. They are the ones going to be designing your house and they will bring your ideas into life. In other words, they're going to come up with designs and specifications that would suit, of course, your lifestyle and also <laughs> your budget in fact your lajan on the design team is mostly made up of the architect the civil engineer or the structural engineer the mechanical engineer and the electrical engineer there are certain topics or certain projects that will request or require specialized engineers but just for this topic we're going to be sticking to just these four the architect in simple terms he designs the building most projects he acts as the lead consultant is and he specifies the spatial arrangement of the design or of the proposed design that he is working on he also focuses on the aesthetics and the looks of the building the thing architects mostly have in mind is you know every client comes on board with a different taste someone will come on board they want a pool someone will come on board oh i don't want a pool because of kids as architects we always design to make sure whatever we are designing is suiting that particular lifestyle of the client structural engineer his solely responsible for the structural integrity of the building so when architects design buildings which are cared then you know crew cared and all that the structural engineer is to ensure that whatever design the architect has done he would make sure the design stands it stands firm as a matter of fact and this is solid so they design in collaboration with the architect to provide design support so in a layman's term they determine the sizes of the footing or the type of iron rods that should be used or anything that has got to do with the structural integrity of the building that is what they do ever passed by the osu oxford street at night the oxford building right at the roundabout you see how it glows and lets up at night that is the work of an electrical engineer he made that happen responsible for designing the whole electrical system or the whole electrical layout of the building they decide where to position spot lights. they decide where to position chandeliers they decide to position certain and set lights basically the arrow they design the lighting system of the house or of the proposed projects a mechanical engineer is not a plumber they work in a lot of fields mechanical engineers and they are subdivided for this topic we're gonna strictly keep it to build it so they design the sewage and your drainage system they determine where your waste water is going to be passing how water is going to be connected from the main source into the house they are responsible for cold and hot water basically handle the mechanical aspect of the house they work hand in hand with the architect together with sometimes the civil engineer to make sure the whole design turns out very well what happens afterwards is the design team what they'll do is they're gonna compile all these designs and get to you in a documented format that is either in a soft copy or hard copy and these drawings will not only be used for the construction but also to use to secure a building permit you heard right the building permit now in ghana and i believe in most parts of the world in fact every part of the world before you start or before you officially start construction you need to secure a building permit and these building permits are secured with the drawings that the design team produced for you so that's how come you realize some buildings you have inscription on it stop work produce permits that's simply because they decided to build without a building permit or they decided that they will build without a drawing Get a drawing, send it to the assembly, and then you're free. One thing I also forgot to mention is the electrical engineer, the architect, the civil engineer, they all work as a team. Once you get in touch with the architect, he comes on board with the entire team. Dear clients, kindly take note that the design team services, they don't end after they submit the drawings to you. The design teams, their services will still continue during the construction phase because they will need to be coming to the site 
from time to time to ensure that what is being done on site conforms to the design that they made you see this building thing here yeah? a lot and i mean like a lot of money goes really into it and of course i'm sure by now most people are aware so if you decide to do it try and involve the right people involve the right professionals so do a bit of research get to know the person's background get to see sample of projects that person has done before just do your due diligence you know before you hand over your project to someone don't do it all in the name of oh because that's the cheapest so sometimes <laughs> cheap things can cost you more you know we've witnessed so many things like that buildings clients avoiding cost and ending up building collapsing breakages and all that so do your due diligence starting a project with a cheap mindset will cost you more once again don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss my next post i'm ofusukachi see you on the other side